Okay, so I've cleared the screen here. Let's go ahead and get to the logging. In order to log output in TerraTerm Pro, you're going to go ahead and click on File, and you can probably guess it from here, Log. And I'm going to it all real quick. I'm put this in the middle. Uh, it, by default, it will point to your, your local disk drive. In this case, I've already created a folder. You can create one. Just as, that's just normal Windows navigation here. Uh, I just created a folder called Router Output. And that's where we're going to put our um, output from our router, aptly named. <laughs> uh, okay, so first off, go ahead and give yourself a file name. And this one we'll just call router CFG. And one tip here, you can see file types is set to all. There's really not much you can do with that. I like to specify a file extension when I'm saving this. Not a big deal. If you save it out without specifying a .txt, for example, it'll save it. And you can just, in the Windows world at least, where I unfortunately live, you can just right click it and rename it and just add that .txt extension to it. And at the bottom here you see a couple of options. Binary, we're not going to mess with. I think that's just for coding. Um, we're not going to be saving out binary files, so not a big deal. Append, generally this is selected by default. We'll deselect it here, we'll take a look at that later. But we're good to go, so we're going to go ahead and click open. and this is where you're going to want to watch it because it's going to create this second window here and I'll drag it down it popped up to the top of my screen there and this is basically going to be your control for the logging process now you can see you know you've got close and pause and right now we're logging to r1 under bar cfg.txt right now nothing's been transferred because we haven't given it any output so let's go ahead and give it something to chew on Show run while let's make sure for a serial term. Yeah, okay, so our, our terminal length is still zero, so we'll get all the uh, show run output without having to hit our space bar. And that's that. Bring up this window again, and now you can see 1280 bytes have been transferred. We'll hit close to stop this transfer. Okay, as you can see, I've navigated to the folder, router output folder, where we've what our logs and before I started recording again I went ahead and quickly created a log without specifying the .txt extension just to show you how that would show up and if you try and open that Windows will choke on it I wonder if it will open can you try it with a webpad oh no <laughs> pull this in here I guess I haven't tried that before so you could just go ahead and double click it and specify what program you want to uh, have it open up with so no big deal or you could just go ahead and right click rename txt and there we go so let's get rid of this guy I'll delete him and then we'll take a look at our configuration that we created we'll open up this file and here we go. And you could see that this uh, captured our running configuration. And it captures all the keystrokes. So this bit at the beginning here, this is when we were doing, remember I, did, I issued the uh, show terminal include length to uh, verify my terminal length. So since we had already specified logging and we'd already clicked open, you know, we had the uh, logging was in effect, it, it captures everything that you're typing here. This mess here, I probably backspaced or did something goofy here. So it, it'll have some of this weird output. So, you you know, if you want to get rid of this in your file, you just, you know, backspace, clean it up. So now you have a copy of the running config. Whatever, however anal you want to get about that, <laughs> you clear that out too <laughs> and save it. So that's the basics of logging with TerraTerm Pro. I'm going to show you a couple other features here real quick that you might find handy. So remember how we looked at this before? Let me pull this guy in the middle. And um, well now it's selected. The append was, we, we deselected that. Let's go ahead and select that now. And we'll select the, this is our output that we'd already created. What the append option does is that you can now push additional output and it will add it to the end of the existing file. And this is kind of a nice feature if you, you know, you're dumping configs or some output that you just want to put into one file and just continually update it. You don't have to create different files or, you know, and then merge them together. Let's go ahead and hit open here. And our little mystery box went up there. And you can see here that we're logging to that file. Nothing transferred yet. Add this to existing file show IP in brief. 
good enough. What was it? Well, you can see that now we've added 361 bytes. Close it. And I've opened up the configuration file that we had saved out. If we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see oh, <laughs> that's something to keep in mind. Remember our configuration file ended with the end statement here. So we started appending all this right after that. So just put a little bit of better clarity. But you can see it added it to this file. The last thing I want to show you today is using that control window that pops up when we initiate logging. There's a handy feature on that that I want to show you. So let's go ahead and we're going to file, log, and put this guy in the middle again. Deselect a pen because we're not really going to use it. We'll create a second file. We'll just call this output.txt. And we'll click open to start the logging. And I'll bring this guy down here. This is our control. And what I wanted to show you was the, the pause button. The pause button is kind of cool because what you can be doing is you can be outputting to a log file. Say that you're um, doing show interface to track down some errors. It, I, I like to use the logging sometimes when I'm troubleshooting just to keep track of what I was doing on the router at that time and probably more importantly what some of the counters look like at that time so that if I miss something or I have to go back and prove that you know there were slip errors on the controller I have that in a, in a text file. As you know with troubleshooting a lot of times you're going down dead ends or you're you know just taking a wild swing at things and there's information that's going to come up that you you know don't really care to look at later it's probably not going to be important so you know if you have a, a just a steady log your your output will be filled with some of this stuff uh, the other option is to create your log file then stop then go ahead and start again and append to the end of it then stop and start again and append to the end of it the, the pause button here actually gives you that option so what you're going to do is you're going to create a log file you're going to output to it and then when you want to stop outputting to it you hit pause and then you can go ahead and get your freak on on the uh, CLI and see the stuff that's not important once you've got something that you want to log to the, the log file again you can click resume and we'll take a look at that real quick here we're logging right now obviously let's go ahead and show int brief. show ip in brief <laughs> okay uh show int f0 slash zero all right and you know say that i you know i wanted to see the errors or whatever whatever your output is what you can do now is you can bring this up and you can hit pause so now I just type in a bunch of stuff that I don't care about. Again, I don't have a really good example for this. Uh, what I've used it for is when I'm looking at errors. Maybe I clear the uh, counters. Anywho. So now I want to go back and get that output again. So now I could just hit start. And get past my garbage. And there we go, I see I cleared this out. So now if we bring up the file that we saved out for this session, you can see we've got the, uh, you can see my fuck up here, show, int brief, go ahead and get rid of that. Or just be our secret, shh. You can see what we captured here, and we went down to, right after we did the show um, interface, f0 slash 0, we paused it, uh, actually right after we had cleared the counters, I just again it's going to start appending to this I mean this is basically an append um, function to the file right where you stopped it and you'll see all these rectangles usually that's for up arrows or backspaces or something it can't transcribe and we can clear this up too so now what we would have is we would have the uh, state of the interface prior to us clearing the counters and you can see we cleared the counters and then we can see afterwards so that might be good for some troubleshooting I, I do that sometimes when I'm clearing counters or I want to have a, um, a record of what the errors look like prior to me shutting, no shutting, clearing counters, blah, 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 blah. So it's a pretty cool uh, feature just to be aware of. There might be times when you want to just output select portions of a terminal session that you have going rather than the uh, whole thing. And it's good to keep in mind that you can do this with the pause button. Well, this is going to wrap up the uh, lesson on logging with TerraTerm Pro. As always, I hope this is a benefit and I also hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye.